Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel. Um, welcome back if you're new. Um, Ellie says hi, and I guess she will be joining me for this video. Um, today, oh, this is Nugget too. He'll stay, he'll stay with us too. Um, they're such a pair. They're a dynamic duo. Um, but today's video, I wanted to talk about my top 10 must-haves for um, newborns. And when I say newborns, I mean newborn twins, because I had two twin girls on December 16th, um, 2019, and they're the cu cutest thing ever. Um, I love them so very much, obviously. Um, but um, these are my top 10, and I have a couple of honorable mentions um, of top 10 things that I, if I didn't have these things, I don't think the first three months would have gone so well, or gone as easily as they did. Um, but I just wanted to share it for any new moms or any new moms with um, twins on the way, um, things that will be helpful um, to have around when you have newborns or newborn two newborns. <laughs> jump into it um the first thing I wanted to talk about was and I will start an overlay here um but the baby Brezza um I tried breastfeeding for about a week and it just wasn't for me it wasn't for my girls um and I'm okay with that it would have been great if I could have but it's okay that I didn't but um so we decided to formula feed obviously you gotta do something um and the baby Brezza was an angel sent from heaven. I'm not even kidding. This saved my husband's and my sanity like you wouldn't believe. Um, especially in the middle of the night, those 3 a.m., 2 a.m. feedings, whatever. Um, it was really, can you sit? Can you show everybody how well you sit? Please, sit, please, sit. <gasps> Thank you. Um, it was very, very nice for those um, middle of the night feedings. It would make a bottle instantaneously. Um, and with twins, you have to make two bottles every time you make a bottle. Um, so you would have to wait a couple minutes for it to reheat, but not re not that long. I mean, it's a lot quicker than putting it in a bottle warmer and waiting for it to warm up. The first week, maybe two weeks, I think we tried to do um, bottle feeding like with a warmer and with... Um, my husband actually got a protein shaker and would pre-mix however much formula we would need that night and then keep it in the refrigerator and when um, we had to feed the girls he would take it out pour it in the bottle and then we would wait to heat it up and when you have two scre screaming infants oh my gosh those minutes seem like hours in the wee hours of the morning and it was fine it worked it was just when we got the baby Brezza oh my I am telling you, it is life changing. Um, can you not? I know I don't sit on the floor normally, but good lord, go away, please. Thank you. Um, it just it was life changing. Um, the only, I guess, me two and a half negatives. The first one would be the funnel that um, swirls the formula in to. Um, mix it together it does get clogged pretty easily you have to clean it probably every four times you make a bottle so for us every other feeding we would be cleaning the funnel um which takes maybe a minute i mean it's still less time than making a bottle um it's still less time than actually making a bottle um so i one million percent recommend the baby brezza um the other half of a negative is you have to fill it up not that often I mean when the babies were eating like like four ounces every feeding you filled it up maybe once a day probably one and a half days um, now that they're eating six ounces a day I probably fill it up twice a day but really it's not that bad it's I'm telling you so much easier than actually making a bottle I as a twin mom you need things almost instantaneously because I know my little Ainsley when she is hungry She's hungry now, and she lets you know that she's hungry now. So, for little Miss Ainsley, little Princess Ainsley, my little drama queen, um, that's really, really nice to have. I, I'm so glad I bought it. It's, I think I got it on sale at Target for $169. Um, I went with my sister. 
I had a C-section and we were like slowly walking and Target. I was like, I need this thing. I need this Keurig. I need this baby Keurig. Um, and we slowly walked our way back to get it. And we drove to, since it was around Christmas time, it was busy. You guys are distracting. Um, it was around Christmas time, so it was busy. So all the targets around me were closed. So we had to go 40 minutes. I was willing to drive 40 minutes away to get this thing. And let me tell you, worth it. My next, um... Top item would be the, and I'll insert an overlay here. I didn't feel like bringing it over here because it's full of stuff right now. Um, is the little grass um, drying rack. Um, when you're washing, I think we wash probably 12 bottles a day. Um, it's nice to have a drying rack. That's easy. It holds the bottles up. Um, they dry pretty quickly. Um, and you'll see in the clip that I have, um, I have it on a little set of drawers, metal drawers that I got from Amazon that split into two sides. Um, we have the Dr. Brown's bottles, so we put the bottles on one side and we put like all the inserts and the nipples and the cuffs on the other side. So when you're waking up at three in the morning, it's easy to make the bottle in two seconds and then put get all your um, parts ready to go. Um, they're already, we, during the day, I always wash them when the girls are occupied with something, I wash them and put all the pieces together so when you need a bottle like when little miss ainsley is ready to go um it's it takes two seconds to make a bottle well we'll say 10 seconds um to make a bottle and um yeah so the drying rack is really nice it works really well um <clears throat> they're not all tipping over and it's just really nice and the accessories are okay i don't think they're totally necessary but if you're washing um pacifiers or whatever else like syringes like for medicine or whatever it's nice to hang it on but you only I don't I would only say you need one of them we have two we have the little flower which we use probably the most and then um when the girls were little or we use the um little cactus piece to hang their pacifiers on now we don't wash them as often um so we just we don't have to yeah next oh boogie wipes boogie wipes are also amazing so our girls spit up quite a lot um they had us have acid reflux it's not as bad as it was when they were little um so in the mornings um their mouths would be like covered and spit up and it was so sad but um these boogie wipes are really gentle on their skin and it wipes it off really quickly i actually haven't really i've used it for boogers a little bit um but not as much as just wiping their mouths quickly in the morning um when they wake up um, they don't really wake up with spit up on them anymore, um, but it was nice when they were really little and just to quickly wipe it off. And it wasn't, it didn't hurt them, um, and they smell so good. Who would have thought that booger wipes would smell so good, but they smell really, really good. Um, yeah, it's a fresh scent, but I don't know what it is, but it smells really good. Um, speaking of boogers, an honorable mention um, to go along with the boogie wipes would be the Nose Frida um, Saline Snot Spray. Um, we've had this since they were born. I think I ordered it on Amazon the week that they were born. And um, I didn't realize that newborns had so many boogers, like right away. They are snot-filled little creatures. And um, when you have to use the little nose um, bulb thing to get the boogers out, um, this makes it a million times easier to get the boogers out. Like, it's ridiculous how much easier this makes it. Um, so I just ordered this on Amazon and it came two days later, um, to help get the boogers out. And, um, Frida Baby makes so many good products. Like, they are a very good company. I, I really like them. Um, I have, I think, one more Baby Frida product that I'll talk about in this video. Um, but this is awesome. Okay, um, so changing pad. I... I went back and forth on getting one at all. We don't have a changing table because I just I was just gonna put the changing pad on my dresser that I have in the nursery. Um, so I went back and forth on getting like one of the typical like twenty dollar fabric ones, or should I splurge and get what I ended up getting? And we ended up getting and we got it as a gift from a baby shower the Bumbo um, changing pad, and this thing is amazing when you have blowouts. All you got to do is wipe it down. It's great. You don't have to wash anything. You literally just wipe it down. And the girls don't really, I mean, 
it's not even it's not uncomfortable it's really soft and squishy it's I really like it um some people that saw it thought it was like hard plastic but no it's like really squishy I don't know what it's made out of I don't know what it's made out of but it's made out of nice wipey down goodness um, when you have those blowouts and you need to wipe it down because it can get scary sometimes out there it can get scary um so it's easy to wipe down it is a little expensive but i would say that it's worth it it's worth it in the laundry alone that you don't have to wash um changing pads all the time um just that alone is totally worth it uh, um let's talk about bath time i have two products for bath time um this is the angel care um bath reclining chair as i like to call it it's just a little um spot for the babies to lay um, when you give them a bath um that thing's amazing the girls love it um we're still giving all right as i was saying the angel care um bath baby lounger thing is great um it just sits in the sink because we're still giving the girls a bath in the sink it's they just lay in it they love it it's not cold it's not uncomfortable it, this material is very soft and it's not slippery like it has a grip to it so they don't slide down um and it has a little spot for their feet to stick out of and the girls love to kick and kick and kick we have two of those we only use one right now because they're still in the sink and two of those cannot fit in our sink but when we upgrade the girls to the big girl bathtub aka the bathtub um we'll just have two in there and they can you know kick each other and you know splash all about so that is what we use in the bath right now and our girls had cradle caps so their scalps were um very dry um probably the first between the first and second month um their scalp was very very dry um just very flaky and i had no idea what to do we took them to their one month appointment and we did have, um, the doctor did subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, um, the doctor did prescribe, um, medicated shampoo and it worked. It just stunk and I did not like using it. Um, she did prescribe that and we used it. Um, but what I think really helped, cause I only used the shampoo maybe once or twice, um, is I used the baby Frida. Um, this is what I used. It is um a sponge on one side and it's really really soft bristles like i wish i could take a shower with this um and wash my hair with this really really soft bristles on this side um so sponge on this side little bristles on this side and what you do is you just put shampoo in it and i put it on the sponge side first and i kind of got the girl's head lathered with soap and then i would kind of scrub it in and kind of try to get the dead skin cells um off their head with this side and it's so gentle like it feels so good um they didn't cry they love this thing because it just feels so good on their head um so i recommend this it comes with this little um stand thing that you just put it in it fits right here and then on the back it has a little brush thing or a little comb thing that you it sticks right here but you can brush i mean my girls don't really have that much hair so we don't really use that but if your baby did have a lot of hair, um, you could use that to brush through their hair. Um, but really, really love this thing. I don't, they don't have a cradle cap anymore and I still use it because they love it so much. And it, it just feels really good, I'm sure. Um, let's talk about sleepy time. So when the babies, the girls are still swaddled. Um, I think that's going to stop soon though, because they're starting to, you know, weasel their way out of it. Um, Addie's the only one that's flipping over and she's not doing it too much. So I'm not worried about that right now. Um, but they're starting to weasel their way out of the, um, swaddles, um, cause they're getting stronger and stronger. Um, but when the swaddles that we use the first, when they were really small, cause they were born. 610 and 61 but then they went down to i think each one went down to at least five something um so they were very small when they were um first born and we wanted to swaddle them obviously for that startle reflex so they wouldn't wake up as easily in the night um so my husband was kind of a 
pain in the butt because he wanted to do the old fashioned like blanket swap, and I could not do that. I, I no, I could not figure it out. I I probably could. If there's another something that you could get to help you with that, wouldn't you want to do that? So um, I had these on my baby registry, and I ended up um, after. Uh, my baby shower I got the whatever percent off a of baby list and I um, ordered these myself and this is the swaddle me swaddle it is um, you put the baby in here nugget would you like to just kidding um, you put the baby in here well you're laying them down and then um, it pulls up like this and this part goes over here and then it just wraps around like this and they look like a little burrito it is the cutest thing ever um, so they're in the swaddle. Um, we try not to use these ones anymore because they're pretty small. I think you can get a bigger size, but since they're about to not use them anymore, I didn't really want to order them. Um, they're not that expensive. I think two packs, and I'll link it down below, but the um, we got a two pack. That's what I ordered first. And then once I figured out, ooh, the girls really like these, I really like using these. I ordered probably six more, not pa packs, but six more actual swaddles. And um, they're not that expensive. I think a three pack is around $35, um, which isn't bad compared to what I'm about to talk about next. Um, but these are really good. Um, I really like them to keep, they're, I think they're better at the next one I'm gonna show you to keep the arms in. Um, they don't really get out of them as easily. The only part that they can get out of, um, they can kind of slip their arms out at the bottom. Um, but it still doesn't wake them up because their arms are still tight to their, um, body. So I really, really like these and they're really, they have really cute patterns. I think we have a deer pattern. We have a gray buffalo check one. We have one with waves. We have plain blue and gray ones. Um, but I really like those. My husband wasn't the biggest fan of them, but he got over it. All right. The next one I'm going to talk about is this Ollie. I always call it a swally. I don't know why. I think it's because it's a swaddle blanket. So I combine swaddle and ollie and I call it a swally sometimes. I don't know. But this one's pretty cool. We use this one a lot more now because we did not use this in the beginning because my mom actually got this for the girls for Christmas, I think. Um, and they were too small for it. They were only two weeks old at Christmas, so they were still tiny. So the Velcro, like, it was not working when they were that small because the velcro just it like we could have wrapped them twice in it and it wouldn't have worked um but now that they're bigger they it fits into them so well the material is really really nice it's like a soft what what are you how to use we know how to use it what are you made of i don't know it's made out of really soft stretchy material that's what it's made out of and we have two of these because they're very expensive. They're like 60 something dollars a pop. And so we just have the two and we wash them quite frequently. They come in little bags to wash them in so the Velcro doesn't get stuck on other things. Um, so you just, you have to have their arms down in this one and you have to have their shoulders out a little bit. Um, but they're really cool. They just wrap around like this and then you just pull it tight and then wrap them like this. And then at the bottom, there is an elastic that you take the bottom and you just make a little mermaid tail out of it. I usually just make a bun and yeah, they just go in that. These ones are cuter when they're in. They look like little burritos in this one. This one, they just look like they're in a straight jacket, but this one works really, really well because it's so stretchy and I think it's breathable. Um, I think the girls sleep better in this one personally um but I really think they work the same I can't really tell a difference um uh, my husband would say they slept better in this I I say they kind of work the same I can't really see a difference one versus the other um it, it this one the ollie is easier to get them on and off so that's nice um but I will tell you the best thing is in the morning when they're waking up and you unswaddle them and they but another thing that we had for the acid reflux so we wouldn't have to wash the sheets every night is I use these diaper chain the, these are diaper pad um diaper pad like cloths that you put on diaper pads I actually laid this flat in their crib 
and um, we would just have to change these out instead of changing all their sheets out. I would just put this down, they would split up on this instead of the sheets, and we would just wash these. So every morning I would take them out and put them in the wash. We got about 12 of them, so we would just stick it in their laundry basket and they would get washed. All right, let's keep going. Um, Dock a tot versus a bumbo lounger. Is this isn't a bumbo. Boppy. Boppy. Okay. Um, we got both. I got this lounger and we ended up getting two Dock a tots. Isn't this print adorable? Um, I am going to be honest. I love the Dock a Tot when the girls were probably from zero months, like when they were first born, till probably a month and a half, two months. Like during my whole maternity leave, I loved the Dock a Tot. Um, it was nice to stick them in when they were sleeping and you needed to get something done. It was nice, like we would um, put it on the floor when the dogs were outside, obviously. We would put it somewhere safe um, where we could wash them in it and they could sleep where we could see them. Um, it was very nice when, I don't know, you were changing one baby's diaper and you needed to put one somewhere. So you would just stick them in that. We don't really use it anymore. Um, I don't know if it's because I've put it away, but we don't really use it anymore. Another thing that we really used it for was our nighttime feedings. My husband and I had a whole routine when we changed the girls at night and fed them at night. Um, but part of that routine is he would get up and change the diapers. I would make the bottles. And when he was changing one's diaper, when he finished with the first one and I was still making the bottles, he would put um, the baby that wasn't being changed at the time in the dock is hot. And it was nice because you knew they were safe. You knew they weren't going to roll off the couch or whatever. They were safe in the dock is hot. So that was really nice to have then. Um, I think that's about the only time we used it. I... And I hate that because they're so expensive, but honestly, unless you're rolling around in money, I wouldn't buy it. Um, and I hate saying that because I wanted it so bad because they're so cool and they're so cute. Um, but I would not recommend it just for two months. I mean, that's $100 a month. Um, we'll definitely keep them if we have another baby because it is convenient to have something to stick them in um especially when they're newborns they can't sit their heads up or anything um, but because the girls had acid reflux when you laid them flat they would spit up right away so we would stick like a pillow under it so it just that's not safe to do so they're cute but i don't i do not think it's worth the 200 dollars um if i had to do it again i would have just bought one we did get one as a gift and then I bought the other one with our um, baby list discount, but uh, I really hate saying that because I kind of made a big fuck. Well, I mean, Sam, my husband did say like, he did say they were worth it when we had, I mean, but for two months, I mean, you need to make that call on your own because that's a lot of money. And maybe if we just had one baby, it would have been worth it, but with twins, that's $400. That's a lot of money. Um, they're cute. That's, I mean, they work for the first couple months, but I don't see how. And maybe when we're, maybe like later on, we, I don't know. I don't know. You make that call. You make that call. I, if I had to do it again, let's put it that way. If I had to do it again, I would have just bought one instead of two. I would have just gotten the one and it would be nice to stick, you know, when we were doing our changing thing. But two, maybe not. Okay, so that's my opinion on the Dock a Tot. Um, yes. I will say, all right, um, what I do love is this, um, what are they called? Bobby bobby lounger this is a newborn bobby lounger we still use this today um to stick the babies in if we need to go grab something um we stick ainsley loves that thing i love it because it sits them up a little bit it's like at an angle so they're sitting up in it um so i love this it's easy to wipe down it's kind of dirty right now but it's easy to wipe down it's adorable 
you um, can buy lots of cute covers on Etsy and stuff. Um, you can flip it over if the other side's like what was split up or whatever. You can flip it over, but I love this. And it's only $30, $40. So much more worth it and useful for me um, to use this instead of the Docatot because the Docatot was flat and they would spit up in it. Um, so I love this. Um, we, I did get the other Boppy, this one right here. I like this one. I, and I bought this cover separately. Um, I like this one. Um, <clears throat> but it's actually becoming more useful now that the girls are getting bigger. Um, because we, they can practice sitting up in it. They can practice sitting in it. So we'll just stick them right here and they can practice sitting without weeble wobbling. Um, so I do, I'm actually liking it more and more now. However, um, when I was on maternity leave and I was feeding the girls by myself, I was obsessed with this one because I could have one in this boppy. I would be sitting on the couch and I would have one on one side of me and one on the other side of me and I would be feeding them like this. And it worked so well because I was relaxed. They were relaxed. They were propped up um, so they couldn't choke as easily. And it was really nice to do that. Um, so this one wasn't ideal for that it worked we made it work but if we had two of these that would have been super nice to feed the twins at the same time um so i honestly recommend the newborn lounger boppy versus the docatot now i will say there's more potential for them to roll out of this versus the docatot um so there you go um but if i had to do it again i would I wouldn't buy this one. I would get. I would just get two of the loungers instead. Um, I got a backpack diaper bag from Target. My sister got it for me for the baby shower. It was okay. Um, I can put a link below what it was. Um, it was like a drawstring. It had a lot of room in it, but I didn't like it because you couldn't see everything that you had. So I ended up um, later on, like maybe two weeks after they were born, I saw this all over Pinterest and I should have registered for this at first. I thought about it, but I was like, I saw the price of it. I was like, that's too good to be true. I think it was, I think it was less than $30 and I thought that was way too good to be true. So, um, this is the land designed for baby, simple and practical, um, diaper bag. It is wonderful. Um, it has a big opening at the top, which is why I like it. It has a um, wire at the top, so it opens up all the way and you can see everything. There's pockets all the way around. It is super deep. Um, you can just fit so much in here. I have diapers on one side. I have wipes on one side. Um, the front opens up so you can put bottles. Um, it only twins. Um, my one complaint would be that it had three bottle holders instead of four because it would be nice to have two each. Um, and with the Dr. Browns, the tall Dr. Browns can't fit in this. You have to have the flat cap on it, which kind of works better anyway so it doesn't leak. Um, that would be my only complaint about it, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, it has like a mesh pocket. Um, it has, I put like things that I want to keep safe when I'm carrying it in this bag. This is so it's safe in there. And then look at this. This is a really cool feature. It opens up the back, but it opens up this main part. Um, so if you need to reach something in the bottom, you can get it really easily with that zipper. Um, on, on this side, it has a pocket that you can have easy access to wipes. And on this side is just another pocket. Um, I love that diaper bag. It's comfortable to wear. It just fits so much stuff in it. It's ridiculous. Um, if you only had one baby, I can't imagine the stuff you could fit in that thing. Um, but with twins, it still fits everything that I need easily. So I love that bag. I wish I registered for it right away instead of, I don't know. I just thought the price was too good to be true. I just... Um, and the last thing I wanted to talk about was the Mama Roo. Um, we have, we did end up getting two. And um, I like them. They work for my babies. They didn't work um, for my cousin's little girl. 
Um, so she ended up selling, reselling hers. Um, but I, the girls really like it. Um, we still use it to this day. Um, it's part of our morning routine. Um, we, um, I get up, feed them, and then we end up, I will watch, catch up on YouTube videos, kind of get woken up, get, get woke. And then I'll, um, get some things done around the house and they actually take their first morning nap in the mama room. Um, they'll be watching the YouTube videos too. It's really sweet. And, um, they end up falling asleep in the mama room, um, which is really convenient. I have them, you can see I have them. Um, over there in front of our TV um, facing the couch. I actually will turn them around so they can see the TV. You can judge me, it's fine. What It's what works for me. Um, and I'll put on um, YouTube videos, cleaning videos. They love cleaning videos, it's the cutest thing. Um, but that's what we do in the morning. It's part of our morning routine. Um, they're really easy to clean, they're easy to zip off. Um, they have the different settings. The girls really just, they like the simple like swinging one like that. Um, I really like it. Um, they they look really cool. Um, they look really modern. We actually, I have one new one. My mom got up for me for um, baby shower. And then we got a reused one. Um, there's a store around here called Kid to Kid. And we got it um, secondhand there. So we didn't purchase two brand new ones. They're so, they're expensive. Um, I think other swings work just as well. Like uh, my mom has two swings at her house that the girls love. They just take up so much space and our house is less than a thousand square feet. So we need something kind of compact. And I feel like the mama roo doesn't take up that much space and they're not an eyesore. Um, they don't bother me sticking out. I, um, if you can, I would buy it secondhand just because they're so expensive and your baby might not like it. That's the thing is you don't know what your baby's going to like or not. My cousin got one. Her baby didn't like it. Um, I think she did end up getting her secondhand and she resold it. Resold? Resold? Sold it again? I don't know. Words are hard. Um, so whatever works for you. Um, I would buy it again because my girls like it. Um, I'll definitely keep it if we have any other kids, but I think that's it. Um, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, thank you. If you got through this video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I will try to link as much as I can below. Um, please give it, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, comment below what, if you had kids, what were your top, what was your Thing that you needed to have. Um, if you don't have any kids, what are you most concerned about? What are you worried about getting or not getting? Or what are your concerns? Um, and I will try to answer them um, if I can. Um, so I'm saying um a lot, aren't I? Um, um, but please subscribe, like, comment, share this to anybody, especially if you know somebody with twins, share this um, to them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back soon. Um, I try to post at least two videos a week. Um, so come back to see if there's more videos. If you have any video suggestions, um, twin wise, house wise, whatever, um, comment that down below. I need some ideas. Um, but thank you so, so much for watching. Um, have a great day guys and I will see you next time. Bye. You're rude. You're rude. I know, I love you too, but you're rude. Okay. Um